हरि ओम लेट्स द प्रेयर ओम समस्त जन कल्याणी निरतम करुणामय नमा चिन्मय देव सद्गु ब्रह्म विद्वर वसुदेव सुत देव कंस चानूर मर्दन देवकी परमानंद कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु माता च पितत्मे बंधुश्च सखत्मे तमेव विद्या द्रविड़मे सर्व मम देव देव तमेव सर्व गुरुदेव देव हरि ओम Uh, starting recording back again on the Vedanta question and answers, and we discussed last time elaborately the experience of deep sleep state, looking from a different angles. One aspect that we in this that everyone goes through waking state, dream state, and a deep sleep state. That's called anubhavam experience, and all human beings experience through. And Vedanta uses that. experience that anubhava as a basis for making the appropriate conclusions out of it so the whole the the mandukya upanishad talks about waking state dream state and deep sleep state and that i am existing all the three states in the in the waking state as a waker dream state as a dream as a, as a dreamer and the deep sleep state as a sleeper but i am beyond all these three states and i am called essentially turiyam the mandukya upanishad mantra 7 beautifully describes what is my real nature now the, the, since this is an experience of everyone in this is what the scriptures relays on one is the shruti next is the the anubhavam and yukti so yukti anubhavam in that order so we have a scriptural and also logic logic within the scriptures and also use the experience of every human being in order to deduce what is the reality so the question that we are going to right now pose is looking up the deep sleep state do i exist because no one is conscious that they exist they everybody says i slept very well so experience is there but no knowledge of the experience is not there so essentially everyone is going through deep sleep state without knowing and you say what did you do i slept very well so that means uh, he is able to recollect that experience and the law of memory is the experiencer and the recollector has to be one the same so i cannot recollect the experience of somebody who went to himalaya as an experience i cannot recollect experience because i didn't go through that so for me to recollect the experience i had to experience it so therefore recollector and the experiencer have to be one and same that is called law of memory so if i can say that i slept very well that means i was there to sleep very well so my existence was there in the deep sleep state nobody is going to go to the deep sleep state if they think that they are not going to exist because everybody wants to exist all the time so therefore everyone knows that they are going to exist and everybody says i slept very well so they experience deep sleep state everyone has it at the same time if you ask me what were you doing in the deep sleep state i don't know where were you i don't know so unlike in the waking state and the dream state in the dream state i i was in the forest i was in the uh, mugged by by thieves and all that i can exp- i can recollect the experience because i was there and while experiencing the dream state i was involved in that and if the tiger is chasing me in the dream state i was running away to save the tiger so therefore there is an experiencer and also knowledge of experience because the scripture also says that therefore i have the 19 gateways ekona vimsadi mukaha i can experience because the mind is there along with the senses and everything is functioning even in the dream state e even though which is different from a waking state but in the deep sleep state mind along with the senses folded therefore i have no knowledge of the experience of my own existence also 
So where were you? I don't know. So where, how long are a question of space and time. And the space and time also comes with the objective reality too. So when I can only see objects, that means when the subject object reality, along with that also the spatial coordinates come into picture and the time coordinates come into picture. And in the deep sleep state, I have no concept of space, no concept of time. How long I slept, I don't know. Only when I know, oh, I went, the, I slept that long, and people say, oh, you slept for half an hour, you slept for four hours, uh, you slept for 15 hours, and so on. So the experience of deep sleep state is something which everyone goes through, but at the same time, no knowledge of the experience of my own existence also. So I am Satswarupam, but I have no knowledge of my own Satswarupam also. But do I exist? Yes, because I say I am recollecting that experience. Now who is recollecting the experience? And why couldn't I tell that in the in the real state? If I experience and I have a knowledge of experience and I have not slept. So the, the one who is recollecting, I need a mind. I am there with the mind which was has to tell that I experience. But if the mind can tell, it was not there in the deep sleep state. How can it tell that it slept very well? That's why the experience will sleep, or is it inference from the, from the point of mind-wise? It's only inferring because I'm not there, I must have slept. Is it inferential sleep or experiential sleep? For that I give a simple example. At, say my wife, I was sitting in a in a, in, a, in, a deep, in a deep meditation and my wife brought a, a plate of laddus in my room and there's no one else that I closed the door and all that I was in deep sleep state uh, I was in the, the I was in the uh, meditation state and after half an hour my wife came to pick up the laddus there was no laddu there in the plate so what happened to the laddu I said I don't know so you ate all that what do you mean no one came here so is that Eating laddu, is it circumstantial evidence or did I really eat? Is it experiential uh, eating of laddu or inferential eating of laddu? If I have my stomach is full, I can't eat anymore. It is obviously experiential eating laddu, not inferential. Same way, I am relaxed completely and I slept very well implies that I am, I was there existing in the deep sleep state and therefore I could recollect. So existent I do but I have no knowledge of experience of that existence. This is a very important point that we dwell on and then in the few in the talks now. With that we will stop. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Sri Guru Pyo Namaha Harihi Om